dear students welcome to the lecture on die in complexes so in the die in complexes we will study two ligand complexes that are butadiene and cyclobutadiene complexes so as uh, the name indicates die in means there are two double bonds in the ligand that is attached to the metal center to form the complex so these are die in complexes so first we study the butadiene complexes so this is 13 butadiene ligand complex and this ligand is four electron donor ligand in cissoid form so this is the cissoid form of 13 butadiene and it is also known as l2 type form because this is two electron donor and this double bond is also two electron donor so total four electron donor and cissoid means these two double bonds are on the same side of c2 and c3 so it is l2 type bond formation with the metal center actually in the butadiene all the three bond distances are equal what are the bond c1 c2 c2 c3 c3 c4 so all the bond distances are equal because these pi electrons they are delocalized when the substituents in the die in ligand become electronegative lx2 form of die in complex exists so if the substituents on the die in ligand they become electronegative so more back bonding will occur this metal center can donate more electrons to this butadiene why because the substituents they become more electronegative they attract the electrons from metal center and more back bonding will takes place so that you can see that the double bond uh, this c2 c3 bond length will decrease so in butadiene uh, the all the bond lengths are 1.46 angstrom while in case of this kind of complex which is the metal cyclopropane extreme here you can see that c1 c2 bond length and c3 c4 bond length it it is 1.46 angstrom while the bond length in between c2 and c3 it is uh, uh, 1.40 angstrom that means this bond length reduces why because double bond character is there in this bond while in case of butadiene it is singly bonded so here it becomes double bond so bond length will decrease to 1.40 angstrom so this is the evidence that it may be possible that uh, the butadiene complex become metal cyclopropane extreme so we can uh, study it with the help of ir spectroscopy where we can see the bond length of c1 c2 c2 c3 and c3 c4 so if the bond length of c2 c3 decreased it means it is attached in lx2 manner so l means this is two electron donor and this carbon and this carbon they are one electron donor so one electron from here one electron from here and two electron from here so it becomes four electron donor the cyclobutane uh, this butadiene it becomes four electron donor generally l2 binding is rare this kind of binding is rare uh, this is a complex which is showing l2 kind of binding lx2 binding this kind of binding is more common in butadiene complexes so this is more common where again the uh, ligand is four electron donor now bonding in butadiene complexes so how bonding in butadiene complexes occur Uh, i will show you the molecular orbitals of uh, butadiene ligand so psi2 will be homo highest occupied molecular orbital and it will form sigma bond with the metal while the psi3 that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital it can form pi bonding with the metal center now this uh, this figure uh, shows you about the bonding in metal butadiene complexes so these are four molecular orbitals that are arises from the or, or the linear combination of four p orbitals of butadiene 
because butadiene is having four carbon atoms so it is also having four p orbitals that are having one electron each and that are participating in pi bonding so there are four p orbitals in each p orbital there is one electron so it has four pi electrons okay so now those four p orbitals they combine linearly and form because they are four carbon so they will form four molecular orbitals so the butadiene carbons they linearly combine and form four molecular orbitals we have given the name psi1 psi2 psi3 and psi4 now you can see that all the positive side of the orbital is on the one side so it is a bonding orbital there is no node in this orbital this is molecular orbital so there is one node you can see there is one node because it is plus and it is minus this is the second bonding orbital of butadiene then this is the psi3 where you can see there are two nodes one node and two node so it is plus it is minus then it is plus it is minus so there are two nodes now you can see in this psi4 molecular orbital there are three nodes okay so plus minus plus minus so there are three nodes so as the number of nodes increases the energy of the molecular orbital will also increase so it will have the lowest energy because there is no node and in this uh, molecular orbital there are three nodes so it is the highest energy anti bonding molecular orbital okay now you can see that there are four electrons i have already told you that because there are four carbon atom in each four carbon atom there is one p orbital and in each p orbital there is one p electron so four p electrons will occupy two molecular orbitals because maximum number of electrons that can goes to the to one molecular orbital is two so these electrons they filled up to psi2 so psi1 psi2 so this is the highest occupied molecular orbital and this is the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital and you can see that there are two anti bonding molecular orbitals with butadiene which are empty okay so now how bond formation takes place this psi1 and psi2 they can form sigma bond so because they are filled so the through this ligand can donate its electron pairs to the metal okay so thus forming a sigma bond and this this orbital is empty so it can accept electron from the metal center so due to empty nature of anti bonding molecular orbitals butadiene can also accept electrons in the empty anti bonding molecular orbital from the metal center now first we can see that how this can form bond with the metal center so it will search for the metal orbital that is having the same symmetry so these are the metal orbitals which are having the same symmetry so this is s orbital minus 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 so if we put this s orbital here then this can easily combine with this orbital now you can see head on overlapping so through head on overlapping now you can see that this orbital can again overlap because its one lobe is minus so all are minus so this pz can also overlap it has the same symmetry again the dz square is having the same symmetry as that of psi1 a molecular orbital of the butadiene now see the case of psi2 so in case of psi2 you can see that one lobe is minus and other is plus so this is minus and this is plus so px orbital and dxz orbital these are the two orbitals of metal which are having the same symmetry as that of psi2 so they can overlap with the psi2 and now the orbital that is dyz that can overlap with the psi3 or uh, orbital molecular orbital of the ligand so these are having the same symmetry so these are the metal orbital which can overlap with these molecular orbitals now you can see that this psi2 bonding this psi2 bonding can decrease the electron density in the ligand because this electron pair 
can be donated to the metal center so that it will decrease the electron density on the ligand and this psi uh, 3 will initiate the back bonding it will initiate the back bonding then you can see that the bond here these there is double bond in between c1 and c2 and c3 and c4 but after formation of pi bonding you can see this c1 c2 this is double bond here this becomes single bond this c2 and c3 is the single bond and now this becomes double bond and here you can see that the, when it is double bond it becomes single bond c3 and c4 so you can see that the back bonding will increase the bond length of c1 and c2 and c3 and c4 and shorten the bond length of c2 and c3 so back bonding will in decrease the bond length of c2 and c3 so this is how butadiene uh, can form bond with the metals in metal butadiene complexes now the methods of preparation how uh, butadiene uh, complexes can be synthesized uh, now the it can be synthesized uh, i have given two uh, reactions mainly one is the reaction of metal carbonyl with butadiene so this metal carbonyl can direct react with butadiene uh, in uh, at high pressure and can form this metal butadiene complex uh, and the reaction of aromatic compound with the metal carbonyl so this aromatic compound they can react with the metal carbonyls and this there is the rearrangement in the aromatic ring so uh, after rearrangement of the aromatic ring this butadiene complex can be formed so this is an aromatic compound when it reacts with this carbonyl compound then you can see that there are three double bonds but here uh, only two double bonds are there and there is a rearrangement and thus it can form the uh, butadiene complex easily so aromatic compounds they can also form butadiene complexes now what are the properties of butadiene complexes so uh, the main properties of butadiene complex is uh, it can show nucleophilic addition so uh, this is a i have shown this this is a butadiene complex this is a butadiene ligand okay double bond uh, one double bond and second double bond so butadiene has two double bonds so this is the butadiene Uh, portion and uh, this is a palladium complex it is having the butadiene as a ligand when it reacts with uh, ligands like me2so so uh, during nucleophilic addition reaction uh, it can uh, displace actually it can either displace this uh, olefinic this butadiene or it can uh, replace the uh, other ligands other than the Uh, butadiene so here you can see that this butadiene is replaced by this ll and in this uh, the butadiene remains as such but the other that are chloride uh, chlorine ligand they can be replaced so this is a nucleophilic type of reaction actually not uh, uh, this is a kind of Uh, replacement reaction this is a substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction so in this nucleophilic substitution reaction you can see that uh, in in one case this butadiene Uh, can be uh, replaced and in other the other ligands can be replaced the other kind of reaction is electrophilic addition so this electrophile that is h plus can add to uh, this butadiene and uh, this one of the ch2 group become ch3 so uh, direct protonation may occur through electrophilic addition reaction so these are uh, the general reactions that are shown by the butadiene complexes now uh, i have discussed about the cisoid form now uh, we will discuss about the transoid form of butadiene complexes so actually this transoid form is rare in butadiene complexes only there are a few examples like this is an osmium complex where this is osmium and this is osmium and in this case you can see that diene is eta 2 bind so diene it is eta 2 bind to two different metal centers so this portion is bind to one metal center and this portion is bind to the other metal center so this is the transoid form of butadiene complex 
and the other example of that of zirconium complex and it is the cyclopentadienyl uh, ligand here uh, diene bound to the single z uh, zirconium you can see that this diene is bind to the single metal center and in this case uh, in case of zirconium complex isoid form also coexist with the transoid form so transoid form is very rare in case of butadiene complexes and it can occur uh, for a few complexes and in in these complexes it may uh, in this case the diene may bind uh, to the two metal centers or may bind to only one metal center now uh, the next kind of complexes are cyclobutadiene complexes so these complexes uh, this cyclobutadiene is acting as the ligand so this cyclobutadiene ligand is uh, in neutral form actually in neutral form it is four electron system if we see the cyclo butadiene so the cyclobutadiene actually this kind of uh, ligand so in this ligand you can see that it is a four electron system because there are again four pi electrons there a neutral molecule and it is anti aromatic because there are only four and four electrons it is again it is unstable in free molecule so it it does not exist actually uh, when it it can uh, exist in the form of complexes it's a dianionic form it become stable it's dianionic form become stable because now it becomes the six electron system and six electron system is an aromatic system so aromatic system is the stable uh, one so uh, free in free state it is unstable but in dianionic form in free state in neutral form it is unstable but in dianionic form in free state it is stable and after binding with the metal it become again it can form stable metal complexes so cyclobutadiene is stabilized by bond formation with metal actually after formation uh, bond uh, bond formation uh, it can stabilized so these are some preparation methods for cyclobutadiene uh, complexes so this is dichlorocyclobutene so from uh, dichlorocyclobutene or halo butenes we can prepare the cyclobutene uh, cyclobutadiene complexes so uh, here uh, you can see that iron carbonyl molybdenum carbonyl complex uh, ruthenium carbonyl complex chromium carbonyl so generally it reacts with the carbonyls so when it reacts with the carbonyls this uh, uh, dihalide butene then it can easily form the cyclobutadiene metal complexes the other method is the reaction of acetylenes with the uh, metal complexes uh, this uh, this uh, metal cyclopentadienyl complex so this can dimerize so this uh, alkyl can dimerize and uh, after dimerization it can form cyclobutane uh, butadiene type ligand and thus it can form complex with this cyclopentadienyl complex now if we see the properties of uh, cyclobutadiene complex because as you know that uh, the uh, the cyclobutadiene ligand is not a very stable ligand so uh, the compounds are also very highly reactive they decomposes they can dimerize they can isomerize so these are the general reactions uh, which uh, are shown by the uh, cyclobutadiene complexes so these are the general properties uh, shown by uh, metal cyclobutadiene complexes so this is a cyclobutadiene complexes uh, like in presence of c4 actually it forms the cyclobutadiene which is very unstable and that cyclobutadiene then uh, dimerize or trimerize and then form cubene type structures okay the the intermediate is the cyclobutadiene but which is very unstable so that will form cubenes now this can also react with the uh, this kind of complexes and then can form uh, the this uh, alkyl type uh, complexes uh, this ligand and uh, alkynes and then it can form this kind of uh, such kind of compounds so it can easily react actually i i have to say that uh, this cyclobutadiene complexes they are highly unstable so they are they easily react to form different kind of compounds so diene complexes uh, can be concluded as that these diene complexes uh, they uh, have uh, two double bonds so we will uh, we have we have uh, had covered uh, two kind of complexes that are butadiene complexes and cyclobutadiene complexes each is having uh, 
two double bonds. So this butadiene complex is uh, they may be uh, in the cisoid form or they may be in the transoid form. Transoid form is generally very unstable form. They are four electron donors. Actually, all the butadiene diene complexes they are four electron donors. And uh, in case of butadiene complexes, uh, it uh, exists in LX2 form uh, in diene complexes. And if we uh, consider about the bonding of butadiene complexes, then we will find that psi2 molecular orbitals, they form sigma bonds with the metal by donating their electron pairs to the metal. And uh, the psi3 molecular orbitals, they form pi bond they are helpful in forming the pi bond by back donating uh, and, and accept the electrons from the metal center because they are empty anti bonding molecular orbitals and if we see the methods of preparation of um, butadiene uh, then we will find there are two easiest methods that are the direct reaction of metal carbonyls with the butadiene and the aromatic compound with the carbonyls and uh, uh, two type of properties they show generally nucleophilic substitution and electrophilic addition reactions and then uh, uh, if we see the transoid form that is very rare in case of some zirconium complexes and osmium complexes there uh, the butadiene forms the transoid uh, kind of complexes then cyclobutadiene complexes uh, they are generally neutral in neutral form they are four electron donor anti aromatic and unstable but if uh, uh, there is a diatomic uh, dianionic form uh, that will be more stable due to the 6 electron system and i have also covered the methods of preparation and properties of cyclobutadiene complexes so this is all about diene in co diene complexes uh, which is having two kind of complexes butadiene and cyclobutadiene complexes so thank you very much